Good evening, mga mahal. <laughs> it's a beautiful evening. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you for this wonderful night. God, it's so good. It's so mighty. Thank you, Lord, for the beautiful color of the sky. Hallelujah. Oh, we magnify you, Father. We glorify you, O God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, God. We bless you, Lord. We glorify you, Father. Thank you. <laughs> I was made to praise you. I was made to glorify your name and to obey you, Lord. I was made for you. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Father God, for this lovely evening. We glorify you, O Lord, and we praise you, Father. You are so good. You are so wonderful. Father God, we will be continuing. We will continue to read the Word of God. It's so nice to be able to, to read your Word anytime. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for giving us the access to just read your word. We praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. I am forgiven because you were forsaken. I am accepted. You were condemned. And I'm alive and well. The Spirit is within me because you died and rose again. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you. Amazing love, how can it be that you're my king would die for me? Amazing love, I know it's true. It's my joy to honor you in all I do. I honor you. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Amazing love. Hallelujah. Father. Amazing love. That you did on the cross for me, Father. It's amazing love. Hallelujah. Praise you, O God. And I glorify you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We will be continuing on reading today in the book of um, the book of Genesis, <laughs> Genesis chapter twelve. Yes, thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. Amazing love, oh how it be. You are the God. Thank you, Father. You are always with us, Lord. As we will be continue on reading the word of God today in the book of Genesis, chapter 12, Father. Help us to understand 
Give us, Lord, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of your Father. Thank you, Lord, for this time. Thank you, Lord, for this lovely early evening <laughs> that I am able to read your word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, Father. Give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of your Father as we continue to read your word. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. Promises to Abram. Now, the Lord had said to Abram, Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you, and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So, Abram departed as the Lord had spoken to him, and Lot, and Lot went with him. And Abram was seventy-five years old when he departed from Haran. Then Abram took Sarai his wife and Lot his brother's son and uh, all the positions that they had gathered and the people whom they had acquired in Haran and they departed to go to the land of Canaan so they came to the land of Canaan Abram passed through the land to the place of Shechem as far as the Terebeth tree of Mori Moriah he called it some some others said Moriah and the Canaanites were then in the land then the Lord appeared to Abram and said to your descendants I will give this land and there he built an altar to the Lord and had appeared to him and he moved from there to the mountain east of Bethel and he pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and I on the east there he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord so Abram journeyed going on still toward the south Abram in Egypt now there was a famine in the land of in the land and Abram went down to Egypt to dwell there for the famine was severe in the land and it came to pass when he was close to entering Egypt that he said to Sarah his wife indeed I know that you are a woman of beautiful countenance therefore it will happen when the Egyptians see you that they will say this is his wife and they will kill me but they will let you live please Say you are my sister, that it may be well with me for your sake, and that I may live because of you. So it was when Abram came into Egypt, and the Egyptians saw the woman, that she was very beautiful. The princess of Pharaoh also saw her and commended her to Pharaoh, and the woman was taken to Pharaoh's house. He treated Abram well for her sake. He had sheep, oxen, male donkeys, male and female servants, male donkeys and camels. But the Lord blagged Pharaoh 
and his house with great plagues because of Sarai, plagued Pharaoh, and his house with great plagues because of Sarai, Abram's wife. And Pharaoh called Abram and said, What is this you have done to me? Why did you not tell me that she was your wife? Why did you say she is your sister? I might have taken her as my wife. Now, therefore, here is your wife. Take her and go your way. So Pharaoh commanded his men concerning him, and they sent him away with his wife and all that he had. Okay, let's carry on reading. Chapter 3. Abram inherits Canaan. Then Abram went up from Egypt, he and his wife, and all that he had, and Lot, and Lot with him to the south. Abram was very rich in livestock, in silver, and in gold, and he went on his journey from the south as far as Bethel to the place where his tent had been at the beginning. But Bethel and I to the place of the altar which he had made there at first. And there Abraham called on the name of the Lord. Lot also went with Abram, had flocks and herds in tents. Now the land was not able to support them, that they might dwell together, for the positions were so great that they could not dwell together. And there was a strife between the herdsmen of Abram's livestock and the herdsmen of Lot's livestock. The Canaanites and the Perizzites then dwelt in the land. So Abram said to Lot, Please let there be no strife between you and me, between my herdsmen and your herdsmen, for we are brethren. It is, it is not the whole land before you. Please separate from me. If you take the left, then I will go to the right. Or if you go to the right, then I will go to the left. And Lot lifted his eyes and saw all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere, before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, as you go toward Zoar, then Lot chose for himself all the plain of Jordan, and Lot joined east, and they separated from each other. Abram dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelt in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent even as far as Sodom. But the men of Sodom were exceedingly wicked and sinful against the Lord. And the Lord said to Abram, After Lot had separated from him, Lift your eyes and Lift your eyes now and look far the place where you are, northward, south, southward, eastward, and westward. For all the land which you see, I give to you and your descendants forever. And I will make your descendants as the dust of the earth, so that if a man could number the dust of the earth, then your descendants also could be numbered. Arise, walk in the land through, it, through its length and its width, for I give it to you. Ah, oh, praise God. Then Abram moved his tent and went and dwelt in the terebeth, terebeth trees of Mamre, which are in Hebron, and built an altar there to the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord, that indeed you have blessed Abraham 
and Abraham now is actually our spiritual father. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's what it says in the um, New Testament. Father God, thank you for your word. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I will learn something today. Lord, we praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, O oh God, what you have promised to Abraham, Lord. <laughs> you are faithful to your promise. Thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name.